It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Tuesday, January 28th, 2020. Number one, National Transportation Safety Board officials have started the investigation into the crash that killed nine people, including Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna. Retrieval of the bodies is also underway. Condolences continue to be extended to the family and friends of Kobe and Gianna Bryant and, of course, to the families and friends of their fellow passengers. Number two, although the Trump defense team worked a full day on day two of opening arguments, attention was on the Sunday night leak of the manuscript by former National Security Advisor John Bolton. In his upcoming book, Bolton provides a direct conversation between Donald Trump and himself about quid pro quo, providing military aid to Ukraine only when an investigation was started into Joe Biden and his son, Hunter Biden. Utah Senator Mitt Romney said the Bolton information makes the case for calling witnesses in the Senate trial. A vote or votes for witnesses could happen later this week. Number three. Senator Amy Klobuchar is getting support from newspaper editorial boards like the New York Times, but who is Amy Klobuchar to the black voter? In a recent poll by the Washington Post and Ipsos, 62% of black voters either have no opinion of her or no idea who she is. As Klobuchar heads to South Carolina, where African Americans make up over a quarter of the population, Senator Klobuchar definitely has her work cut out for her. Number four, say her name. It's Tony Turner. Tony Turner disappeared about a month ago from the Squirrel Hill area in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The 22-year-old artist was last seen at a local tea shop December 30th, 2019. Her disappearance, along with countless others, demonstrates the need for vigilance on the parts of communities everywhere. Be on the lookout for Tony and countless others. Number five. Congratulations to the National Museum of African American History and Culture and to the Walmart Company for continuing their relationship. Monday, Walmart announced another $5 million donation to the historic institution that chronicles the African American experience as it sits in Washington, D.C. This announcement is a reminder that in order to keep our vital institutions alive and thriving, we need to keep funding them. And we need to keep reminding you that you have a chance to join me on the 2020 Tom Joyner Foundation Fantastic Voyage. Enter for a chance to win a cabin by subscribing to my What You Need to Know newsletter and clicking the link inside to register. For more information, go to blackamericaweb.com. I'm Sybil Wilkes with the top five stories of what you need to know. Be informed, be empowered.